world has seen its share of controversy lately. Models packing machine guns, wearing gas masks, and Native American headdresses. And now this. That's American model Andrea Hardin posing in a spread titled African Queen in the March issue of the French Numero magazine. Shocking to some because this is what 16-year-old Hardin normally looks like. Blackface is so sensitive especially for our community, because it has such a tainted history. The online response, fierce, with comments like, horrendous, this is 2013, it must be a publicity stunt, and shame and double shame on this magazine. On Wednesday, Numero apologized, saying it never intended to offend anyone and appearing to blame the photographer, Sebastian Kim, saying Numero has always supported the artistic freedom of the talented photographers who work with the magazine to illustrate its pages and has not took part in the creation process of this editorial. For his part, Kim said in a statement to ABC News he never intended to portray a black woman, saying, I believe that the very unfortunate title African Queen, which I was not aware of prior to publication, did a lot to further people's misconceptions about these images. Former model Cynthia Bailey says she thought the model was simply bronzed until she read the title. That's when I started to question, you know, is this a black girl, is this a white girl? And once they decided they wanted to make the theme of the story, or the concept of the story, African Queen, there's so many beautiful young African-American models or African models that they could have used for this story. Now, Cynthia is quick to point out that she doesn't blame Hardin because models rarely know what their provocative photos are going to be used or how they're going to be used in magazines, which brings us back to the editors of the magazines, and they make those decisions. And interestingly, folks, it's a French magazine, and this kerfuffle has not been experienced in France like it is in this country.